On this segment of The Dose, we discuss local hospice care for your loved ones. The experts explain your options. Hi there, everyone. Welcome to The Dose. Of course, the brand new show here on SCB TV 182, where we highlight the health care in your backyard. I'm so excited and honored right now to be on location at Southern Grace Hospice, speaking to the one and only Chaplain Jim Weathers. Jim, what a pleasure to be with you today. Thank you. It's my joy to be with you all. Now, many individuals know the name Southern Grace here in the community of mm -hmm. Southern Crescent of Atlanta Metropolitan. What is the story behind this amazing organization? Well, you know, we, we started only three years ago. Oh, wow. Uh, actually, it, it was conceived in the heart of a nurse uh, who uh, saw that uh, really patients were not necessarily the priority and okay. all of the corporate hospice structures that uh, she had worked in. And uh, she felt impressed, you know, that the Lord was prompting her yes. heart to start a uh, hospice that was a uh, patient focus that had patients as the priority, uh, not a profit uh, okay. loss situation. And, uh, and so as she began to draw this together, well, then she gathered around herself uh, okay. people who were like-minded. And, uh, and then the underlying foundation that was laid for that uh, fledgling uh, start uh, was in Galatians 6 and 2, okay. uh, where uh, the scripture says, bear you one another's burdens and so fulfill the law of Christ. And we're very serious about that. That's, okay. That undergirds everything that we do. Wow. And I know here, uh, when individuals think of um, hospice care, they may say it's the patient. But here I know you explain it's the entire family, the entire village, right? Absolutely. It, it, it's not enough for us to, to meet the needs of the patient, though the pr patient is priority, but meeting the needs of that family because everyone in that family uh, are in a, a bereavement situation. They're in a grief situation. All of them are experiencing loss yes. in varying degrees. And so each one of those family members uh, gets uh, attention from Southern Grace. I mean, the five disciplines that we yes. have, and you'll, you'll talk about that perhaps later, but uh, the disciplines that we have are, are geared to meet the needs of everyone in that family. I know you're uh, with a team of chaplains here, and there's so much compassion that comes mm -hmm. across. There is. Uh, we're, we've got a great group of chaplains. We have uh, some varied background, uh, you know, coming from different uh, uh, church denominations. But at yes. the same time, all of our pa all of our chaplains embrace uh, what what I call a pastoral mission. Okay. Uh, a lot of chaplains in hospice are more counselors than they are pastoral. Same. Well, in Southern Grace, no. Uh, we've got great counselors. We have wonderful counselors. You're going to talk to some of our counselors before yes. this is over. But while we are all capable uh, to do counseling, that's not our mission. Our mission is a pastoral care for that patient and for that family. And I'm now speaking with social worker Denise Bell at Southern Grace Hospice. Denise, talking about social work, there's so many different components to it. Mm -hmm. Explain. Uh, we do a psychosocial assessment on the families that come to our attention here at Southern Grace. And we just want to make sure that they have the community support that they need. And we uh, hook them up with community resources, I whether see. it's you know food stamps, Medicaid, okay. uh, making sure that their bills are paid, and just looking at the holistic approach of the family to make sure that they are provided for during this time of transitioning with their families. Yes, and with this time of transition, you explained that life still goes on. There's yes. still bills that are need to be paid and other concerns, and it's important that not just the patient, but the entire network family also their concerns be addressed. That is correct. We make sure that when we go into the home of the patient, or even in a facility at that okay. point, even though the patient is our primary focus, we focus on the entire family. I see. We are that additional layer of support that they need and to make sure that they know that they have someone on the outside that are looking out for their best interest. I see. And for that caretaker, such a huge responsibility, it's so important as well okay. that they be able to express their concerns and yes. questions. Why? Well, because uh, we have found out being a caretaker, that is a huge responsibility is a huge undertaking and we make sure that we educate them okay. on 
-hmm. caregiver burnout. We make sure that we inform them that there are resources out there, such as volunteer services, uh, additional caregiver resources in the home to make sure that they are provided for. And even us as the social workers, okay. we will extend our visits to weekly, sometimes twice a week in the home, okay. to make sure that they're getting that extra support that they need during the time that they are taking care of their loved one. And I know here at Southern Grace Hospice, you all have a holistic approach, as mm -hmm. you mentioned, but not just for those adult patients, also for those pediatric yes, patients. Yes, we do not only have the adult patients, okay. but we do have pediatric patients as well. And with the pediatric patients, that's a huge undertaking, you Absolutely. know, with, uh, with the babies taking place. And okay. we make sure that they have those extra resources in place. And sometimes, you know, that is a little harder working yes. with the pediatric patients. But we make sure that mom has the additional support that okay. she needs, where there is additional uh, caregivers in the yes. home, uh, making sure that there are uh, additional physicians on staff, okay. and making sure that our nurses make not only daily visits, but they are making uh, weekly and daily visits with those patients. Well, we mentioned that it takes a team effort here at Southern Grace Hospice, and they're very proud of that. And I'm here now with the one and only Gloria Boyer. She is volunteer coordinator here at Southern Grace mm -hmm. Hospice. I know you said it does take all hands on deck because your volunteers are critical. Yes, they are. Um, we love our volunteers. Yes. We consider our volunteers as a part of our team. Awesome. They're team members and we love the work that they do and just the little bit that they touch our patients' lives makes a big deal for oh, our wow. patients. Amazing. And I know you said some actually go into the homes of your patients? Yes. We have direct patient care volunteers and indirect patient volunteers. And our direct patient volunteers go into the home, whether okay. it's in the personal home or in a nursing home. Yes. And goes and spends time with the patients and gives them comfort awesome. and um, just gives them a little bit of support wow. at this time. And I know you also have some that come into the office and help with some creative yes. art and some crafts. Yes. And so explain what we're looking at right here. For those those um, volunteers who want to help in some way but aren't comfortable with visiting the patients in the yes. home, we do have indirect patient care, okay. which our volunteers can make our activity aprons that we have here for our Alzheimer's and dementia patients, mm -hmm. where our patients need something to do with their hands. Yes. It gives them something to do and keeps them less agitated. I love that. We also have memory pillows that at the time of um, passing, Okay. The patients had some special clothing that the family mm. really loved, so they give us two, tur two shirts of those, okay. and we make pillows for our patients Beautiful. so they can have something for the family to remember by. Very nice. And then roses that once a patient passes, the nurses or the chaplains will put this rose on that patient's bed at the time of passing just because it makes it a little bit special for wow. the family. I love that. Very special. I know you mentioned that your volunteers are available for your patients and also their network. Yes, they are, yeah. We go out into the community and we um, do different um, activities with the community, yeah. activities with the nursing homes, and do that for our patients. And we also have once a year our butterfly release program, oh, nice. which we put on a big memorial for our patients that awesome. passed throughout that year and just honor our families in that way. Wow, and how important are the volunteers here at Southern Grace Hospice? They are an integral part of our team and we love them. And what's great is when we match a patient up with a volunteer and the, the lights of both of their faces light up just for that one hour a week or two hours a week that they may spend with that family. I love that. And when we talk about hospice care, it is also important to make sure we're focusing on the relationship, emotional aspect of yes, it, right? Yes, it is. And they, the volunteers and the patients form a great relationship even after the passing. The families still have contact with that volunteer and wow. it really makes a big difference. Such a beautiful experience. Yeah. Thank you for watching The Dose.